patient decides to choose radiation therapy, the first step is to have what we call a CT simulation. The patients will actually go to another room where we have a CT simulator, similar to what they would find in a hospital or any time they've ever had a CT before. And what will happen at that point is we'll make a mold for their feet to help immobilize their feet. And then also as we do the scan, we're actually mapping out and identifying the target area, whether it's the prostate or the prostate bed, if they've had a prostatectomy. So at that point, when we localize the area, the target, the area that we want to treat, we'll give them three small tattoos using lasers that are mounted on the wall. When we look at the patient from an exterior perspective, we can see from those tattoos generally where the prostate is going to be. So from that point, the patient will have about a week before they actually come back for treatment. During that week, the physician and the physicist are going through each slice of the scan and they're identifying the areas in the pelvis, including the prostate and the other organs and tissues around the prostate that would receive radiation. And so what we do then is we map those out or we contour those organs and tissues and then we identify how much uh, or how little dose we want those to receive. After we do that, we plug that data into the treatment planning computer and the computer figures out how to deliver the treatment, the dose or the amount of treatment that we want to give to the target while shortening or lessening the dose uh, to the other surrounding organs and tissues.